a Delwood woman speaks out days after she was struck in the leg by a stray bullet while just sitting in her living room. She's concerned not only about her health, but about a halfway house where the alleged gunman, a convicted felon, lived. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins talked with the victim, and she joins us now live with more. Kelly? Well, Mandy and Vic detectives here at police headquarters say that they do have a suspect in custody and he's been charged. Now, in regards to the Delwood woman who was shot and injured, she says that the bullet holes and the shattered window at her home is a painful reminder of a day that could have ultimately cost her her life. I'm very grateful to be alive. Um, I, I, I felt like God covered me with one of his angels. A 57 year old Delwood woman speaking out after being shot by a stray bullet while sitting in her living room. Fearing for her safety, she asked not to be identified. The shooting all unfolded Friday morning around 11 in the 9900 block of Glen Owen Drive when shots were fired outside her home. From the way that it was uh, angled at the house, it had to come from directly across the street. The innocent victim wounded while looking out her living room window. You can see where the bullet went through the glass. The Delwood woman noticed she was bleeding and family members called 911. I felt something and I walked away into another room and uh, still not really knowing what had happened because I had my hand covering my, you know, my, my side. And um, uh, it's when uh, I realized that I had been shot. St. Louis County Police identified the suspect as 36 year old Edison Hester, who lives in a halfway house nearby. Hester was taken into custody and charged with first degree assault armed criminal action and unlawful possession of a gun. Police say the woman did not know the shooter and police have responded to the halfway house this year at least 16 times. The nature of the calls include fire alarms, disturbances, destructions of property, overdose and further investigations. Our news crew did knock on the door of the halfway house for a response and no one answered. The victim says she's just lucky to be alive. I called on the name of the Lord and and he was there, he answered me. He intervened at that moment very quickly and I'm, I'm very grateful for it. Well, according to the probable call statement, Hester intended to shoot someone else and missed. Right now he's being held on a $200,000 bond. Live in St. Louis County, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.